complaint. Durham Bus Services has decided how much money these lives are worth. Zoe Nash and Zayanna Harris died in the Woodmore bus crash nearly one year ago, where their families' lawsuits and two others are now settled. Hannah Lawrence joins us with what the conditions are. Hannah. Kim and Kevin will never know how much Durham Bus Services is paying the families of those two girls who died. However, two of these other settlements involve children who were injured here on Tally Road. They'll receive thousands of dollars, but nowhere near the cap that Tennessee sets on damages like theirs. What's the price for broken wrists, concussions, and emotions caused in this accident? Back in December, attorney Luke Nieder explained that in Tennessee, there's a $750,000 cap on damages you can't put a monetary value on. Pain and suffering fall in that category. However, Nieder said it's different for the families of those who were injured. The potential for greater recovery exists for the children who were injured because of the medical expenses that they made, among other expenses that they may incur. After attorney fees, one will get nearly $7,000. The other will be handed a little more than $15,000. Back in November when the crash happened, we talked to families getting through not only having a child hurt, but also the loss of one. God don't make no mistakes, and I keep telling myself that because God makes no mistakes. We'll never know how much money the parents of these two girls killed in the crash will get. The terms of their settlements are confidential. Two more lawsuits were just filed this month. That brings the total number to 18. Of those, 13 are still pending. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. And a thank you. Now, the driver in the crash, Jonathan Walker, is expected to go to trial February 27th. He faces a total of 34 charges, including six counts of vehicular